Welcome to the virtual compilation of my memories, Living Simply, Simply Judith. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Simply Judith. I hope everyone is well and happy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I clean and season a mortar and pestle. So join me as I show you some techniques in cleaning a mortar and pestle. Hello again guys! Before we start cleaning our mortar and pestle, I would like to share with you some facts about mortar and pestle. According to Mr. Google, which is a very good friend of mine, the mortar and pestle is one of the great symbols of pharmacology. They have been used in food and medicinal preparations for thousands of years and are one of humankind's most commonly used tool. Depending on what your use is, there is different types of mortars and pestles for different tasks. And Mortar and pestles are also mentioned in the Old Testament. They were an essential tool for civilizations everywhere. My grandparents from my mother's side are farmers. So they have a huge, a huge one of mortar and pestle. A mortar in a Pangasinan is called lasong, and then pestle is called bayo. So lasong is the body, and this one is the bayo, mortar and pestle. So they usually uh, use the mortar and pestle that they have. It was a huge one. It was like um, about one feet tall and it's made of stone and their bayou or pestle is made of wood. Um, they use it for a lot of stuff. They use it to grind their rice, they use it for some root crops which is uh, kamoting kahoy and they make a lot of good delicacies with it. But today I am going to show you how to clean the mortar of pestle of Ate Veronica. I borrowed it for uh, something. <laughs> I borrowed it for making my uh, nilopak na kamoting kahoy. But before I use this, I need to clean it because she used it to uh, uh, crush her garlic and spices and st stuff like that. So I don't want my nilopak na kamoting kahoy to taste like garlic and um, onions. So I'm going to show you how I clean Ate Veronica's mortar and pestle.
There you go guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for joining me once again. Um, I hope that you have learned something and I hope that you uh, will try using those techniques in uh, cleaning and uh, preparing your mortar and pestle. If you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe on my YouTube channel, Simply Judith, and hit that notification bell so that you will be updated on all the videos that I am going to upload. Don't forget to live simply and happy. God bless everyone. See you next time.